yeah I didn't really like make sure that I was on the right and you were on the left but usually I'm on the right and you're on the left right I didn't check that left right left right your left your left your left your right <laughs> left right left right huh. oh god no flashbacks <laughs> so i guess that's our testing for today i guess so um um testing one two three five uh we gotta start all this over we lost four <laughs> no, I'm not starting over. Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure It, it out. out. This week on We'll Figure It Out, we're going to talk about balancing all of our chaos. <laughs> As if we actually do it. We're going to pretend that we're pros at this. And it's not something we wing. Like last week when we talked about winging things. <laughs> Speaking of last week. <laughs> <laughs> last week didn't go as as well as we had thought it was going to go. At huh? all. <laughs> like we didn't barely make any progress, did we? No. <laughs> no. In fact, the bathroom looks worse right now than it did <laughs> last week. <laughs> but there's progress in it. It might not be what you wanted to accomplish, but you do have progress, right? To a degree. What degree? Is it 30 degrees, 60 degrees? All right. So if we're <laughs> starting at zero degrees and you're looking at that as being 12 o'clock on a clock, of course, a clock... <laughs> degrees in time are totally two different measurements <laughs> you know is a, is a circle which is 360 degrees okay, okay. <laughs> all right okay so we're at about 215 <laughs> gotcha gotcha <laughs> So you can figure up how many degrees that is. It's not even 90. I can't even. No, it's not. It's <laughs> not even 25. No, um, it's more than 25. Oh, it's more than 25? Yeah, it'd be more than 45. Okay, fine. It's not. F it's what I can't math. I can't take a <laughs> clock and split it into p pieces of pie and make it d degrees. Speaking of pie, yesterday, not only was it Johnny's birthday, but mm -hmm. it was pie two day. Pi 2? Yes, pi times 2 would be 628. So he was born on pi 2 day. Apparently. I know you didn't plan that. <laughs> no, I didn't plan it at all. Because if I had planned it, it probably would not have been on that day. Because that day had other significance that no longer is valid. But we only celebrate Johnny's birthday. Yay, Johnny. Happy birthday. About a week late. No. No, it's a day late. <laughs> well, we're recording a day later than his birthday, but this isn't going to go out till Thursday, maybe Friday, since tomorrow's month end, and I don't know if I'll be able to edit. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Not a week. Fine. <laughs> it's not a week. Is that Laverne and Shirley? I don't know. No, it's Happy Days. Monday, Tuesday. Happy Days. Yeah, yep, that was Happy Days. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I've watched any of those shows. So back to the topic at hand. Managing chaos. Balancing life amongst chaos. Which I, I really don't know anybody that actually balances during chaos other than just putting out fires and trying to decide what is your top priority 
Is this better? Yeah. That's going to be better. Are you sure? No, I'm not, but we'll see because every time I get this on a platform, one person is a lot lower than the other person, and I can't figure out why. If I turn this knob here, does this make a difference? It does. Okay, just as long as when I talk, it doesn't turn that little light red. Okay. <laughs> I think it only turns mine red when I laugh. More ah uh, ah. Uh. Ow. That was really loud in my earballs. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with that. Why did I even say that? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I felt it in my eyeballs. That's why. <laughs> Sorry, hon. But I made the light go red. <laughs> yeah, that's bad for the ears. Okay, so. Managing chaos. This is how I do it. By avoiding it. <laughs> Talking about something else. Changing <laughs> subjects. <laughs> that does not work, honey. It doesn't go away if you ignore it. Uh, I've had that happen with people. Really? Yeah, they which, go away if I ignore them. Which one? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> they might be listening to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. No more details than that. I may or may not work with them. Or live with them, or have lived with them. Or you better not them. be ignoring anybody you live with right now. Do you say something? <laughs> oh my word! She's gonna slap me. Mm, <laughs> it's it's possible. It is totally possible. <laughs> Speaking of managing chaos, apparently my husband wants to create more. So we have had a week already, and it's only Tuesday. What did we do Sunday? We did grocery shopping. Well, you did grocery shopping because it, I forgot things when I tried to online shop. Yeah, I groceried and you did laundry. Yeah, I did a lot of laundry. Uh, What else? I, f I fixed the lawnmower. You did that yesterday. Did I do that yesterday? I thought I did that Sunday. Pretty sure it was No, because I went out Sunday to look at it while it was raining, and I was like, uh, nope. And you cut <clears> a part <throat> of the grass. Yeah, I cut a couple of strips of the grass to test the mower after I got it working. Mm-hmm. So that's two pieces of lawn equipment in the last week that I have fixed. I put a new carburetor on the Oh, that's right, the on weed the weed eater. eater. Mm -hmm. And then we needed the... We did, we deeded. That just sounds funny. We did the back and mm -hmm. edged. And then the next thing we know, the lawnmower doesn't work. And it was all carburetors. Carburetor. Now, at least the lawnmower is one that I could actually take apart and clean out. The yeah. one on the, the weed eater is too teensy and not all of it comes apart easy. And so I asked him yesterday, I said, you don't have any carb cleaner? You're a mechanic. <laughs> I laughed and I laughed and I'm like oh yeah no cars use carburetors anymore <laughs> yeah it's all fuel injected and you know if I have to clean something off it's brake cleaner and I don't have any at home right now <laughs> I have some throttle body cleaner just kind of like carb cleaner but weaker yeah <laughs> but I haven't owned a can of genuine carburetor cleaner since sometime in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was a dumb question. I was like, yeah, that was a pretty dumb question. <laughs> I don't know why I asked that. <laughs> yeah. So we had lawn equipment that broke on us this past week or two. Then we're, we have the ever ongoing bathroom remodel that we thought was going to take like you know a week which <laughs> that that's only the case if you can actually work on it in that time right if you can like quit your job and like be like okay i'm just going to do the bathroom but no we can't there's been several days of zero productivity in said bathroom correct so one of the ways that we have tried to balance what needs to go on in the bathroom because i kind of hit a brick wall when it came to my pain capacity I guess um, when I help rip out the when I help rip out 
cannot speak. When I helped rip out, rip out all of the tile and stuff with Jeremy the first weekend that we started on it, I was in a lot of pain after. And then, like I said on the last week's episode, I had something going on with my liver, which I'm going to be getting an ultrasound this week <clears throat> and checking my levels again. I have been trying to drink plenty, plenty of water, but if I eat any food that's like high in fat, I feel terrible. So I had some, I tried to do healthy for lunch, but then I had some sugary drinks when we were out, we went bowling for Jonathan's birthday and then we had ice cream. I think the ice cream messed me up. It was, I was not feeling well. And then we had a very long night of teenage drama on Monday night. So drama, 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 chaos, chaos, chaos. We can de definitely say though, one hundred percent, our life is not boring. <laughs> He's looking at me like, but, but that would be nice <laughs> if it was. <laughs> Sometimes it's best just to keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Your looks said everything. I was staring at you as though the microphone could see me. You were, but it can't. So I had to describe it to our listeners so they could understand <laughs> the look that you just gave me. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, we both have full-time jobs. Um, I... I totally forgot that I had requested off for Jonathan's birthday because I typically don't take off days that are that close to month end, but I hadn't taken off a day, I think maybe one other year since 2011, I've taken a day off for his birthday. So it's been 10 years and maybe this is the second. I don't even remember if I have ever done that. Probably not, but I could have possibly but I don't remember I yeah I decided that this year I was going to take off on Samuel's birthday and Jonathan's birthday because both of them are close to the end of the month and I've never been able to really go spend a day with them doing stuff so well, Sam's pretty much is end of the month just about yeah so you know his is the 30th and it's in March so there's the next day is the month end and then Jonathan's is two days away from month end so it's all non-convenient time for time off so my birthday's in the middle of the month yeah so it's easier for me to take off time if I need to but I never take off time for my birthday so <laughs> you, you, you can take off all you want for my birthday I'll still be working yeah because you don't like to celebrate your birthday anyway I have unless, to force you to. unless it's Sunday then I'll have the day off. <laughs> or maybe if it lands on a Saturday that I don't work. That could. It could happen. I don't even know what day of the week it is. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to go look at the calendar. Well, right now it's Tuesday. Shush. Your birthday. <laughs> oh, gosh, child. <laughs> I say that too much. Uh, it's on a Tuesday. I believe I was born on a Tuesday. Or, yeah. I'd have to double check with my mom. I she think I was born on a Tuesday. Yeah. I don't remember what day. I think it was a Friday I was born. I don't know. I can find out what day I was born. Yeah, you can look it up on Google. Isn't that wonderful? You don't have to have a calendar from the year that you were born anymore. Technology is wonderful. That's another way I that we manage wrong. our chaos. I think I might be wrong. It was a Saturday. Oh, uh, you were wrong. Who was born on a Tuesday? I don't. Does it matter? Yes. Do we, are we going to spend 15 minutes on our podcast talking about when people were born? No, you can go ahead and keep talking. I'll spend the 15 minutes. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Don't mind me. Fine. <laughs> I'll just sit here and talk to our listeners. So one of the ways that we do manage our chaos is a Google Calendar that we share. And all of our appointments, well, Jeremy never does go to the doctor or anything so What's he never has appointments i think the only thing that you had on the calendar was court and did you <laughs> even put it on there no 
No. I hey. think I put it on. Maybe I did. It might have been on there. But um, birthdays are usually on the calendar. And then I have a plethora of appointments between me and the boys, which I have to make an appointment for Samuel. He says his back is hurting him. So, there's that. I have labs and ultrasound this week and chiropractor. Do I have counseling? I might not have counseling. I think I might have skipped this week. I know you did last week. I went to counseling last week, yes. But, so, yes, scheduling things via the calendar and sharing them with your spouse or partner is definitely a way to manage chaos because the other person can know what you're doing without you having to tell them. Uno momento for interruption number one. This morning. What are you going to do? I just continue speaking. Fine. I don't even remember what we were talking about just now. Calendars? We were talking about calendars. And by the way, it was Jordan that was born on a Tuesday. <laughs> okay. So it wasn't like, it was like five minutes. It wasn't 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you you told me that you were going to interrupt me. <laughs> the, the, for for the great memory that I have, mm-hmm. the only child that I had that I remembered what day of the week they were born was Evan because we were watching Friends while she was oh. in labor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> That'll mark that day real quick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, what are some other ways that we manage our chaos, hon? We talk a lot. We, we do. We talk a lot, and we try to arrange how we're going to get things handled. Yeah, um, so, like, okay, so, for example, this week, you really wanted to work in the bathroom, and you were frustrated by the fact that by the time that you were done cooking dinner, because majority of the time, Jeremy is the person that's cooking, and Colin cooks once a week for us, which he's going to be moving out soon, and ah, I'm going to miss him, not just because he cooks, <laughs> but, um, so... One of the things that you needed to be lifted off of your plate was cooking. And because of my lack of energy and sometimes pain, I never know how I'm going to feel. And so I had discussed with you this weekend about pre-cooking some of our meals. That way I could just heat it up and get it all together and serve everybody. Because when I was a single parent, that was the only way that I could do dinner during the week. Is I spent the weekend that they were at their dad's house pretty much cooking for two weeks worth of food. And freezing whatever I could. And, you know, I would do like 12 hamburgers. <laughs> I would do like a pork loin and divide it up into, you know, a serving enough for all of us for dinner. I would cook some chicken, you know, I would just have like the main, if I have the main course done, I can throw sides together typically if I have energy, but lately I haven't had energy. So even just throwing sh sides together is, has been difficult to have the whole meal needing to be cooked is is too much for me and then a lot of times I'm working in the evening to try and make up for the appointments that we have and not being able to wake up sometimes because I'm just so tired so he discussed that he needed help with that so I said let's cook some of our meals this weekend and then I will be able to help you with dinner yeah there's just certain things that can't be pre-cooked like Correct. Thursday night's supposed to be fish night. It's kind of hard to pre-cook that. <laughs> yes, yes, but... Without it becoming funk. Yeah. <laughs> but if we, if we only have to cook one out of six meals or two out of six meals, then it's a lot less 
time consuming and energy consuming right do you find that or do you, does it it's neither here there or there for you it's kind of I, I don't know <sighs> like okay Sunday Sunday would have been my only quote unquote day off mm -hmm. uh, which would have given me pretty much a full day of being able to work so that's where my frustration came in on Sunday was okay well here's my full day and I'm grocery shopping and cooking and cooking <laughs> yeah because we didn't plan ahead far enough for me to have the stuff delivered on Saturday or Sunday for me to cook so if if we plan next week better or this week better like on Friday get our grocery list menu together and then order the stuff that we need from Walmart to be delivered because you know I can't there's no way I can handle grocery shopping right now it's just it sucks too much energy out of me when I'm at my best I can't even I, I'll just be done the rest of the day if I try to grocery shop I won't be able to do anything else so if we order and we just have to like pretend like we're running down the aisles and be like oh we need this I wish they had like a virtual shopping experience for Walmart like let's pick this off the shelf so that we can spend an hour and a half meandering virtually through Walmart it's so much less stressful when you don't have to bump into people and you don't have to like turn around and go the other way because like three people are like blocking the aisle because nobody can push their cart closer to the thing or leave their cart at the end so we need to have a virtual Walmart shopping trip with AI that bumps into you and blocks the aisle with no, their cart. No, no. The <laughs> whole point of it is to not have the hindrances that cause you stress. No. No, you're, you're missing the point here. <laughs> okay. So we'll get rid of the AI that has all the people in Walmart that's in your way, but then you're still stuck with the self-checkout. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> because eliminating all the virtual AI also eliminates the uh, virtual customers in the actual cashier assisted checkout lines, which means that the actual cashiers can't be AI and they're not there either. But they're useless anyway. But if there's no other AI in there, there's no one stopping you from just walking out with your stuff anyway, then. Except for the fact that, you know, you have to check out virtually. Isn't there some kind of, like, scan as you shop feature on Walmart where you can just scan everything in your bag and then walk out? Or your basket? That would be, that would be a whole lot better than standing in line for 45 minutes. I thought they had that. I thought so too, but I don't know. We I have haven't researched it, nor do I care. We'll have to look. Because maybe I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go in the store. Bling. 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 <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> Walk out. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to look into that. And And yes, we forgot some things, even though you went physically to the grocery store, because we didn't realize that we were out of sour cream. Or almost out of sour cream. We didn't realize that we we're almost out of mild salsa. And we didn't realize that we were almost out of shredded cheese. So he had to make a quick trip on his way home. Yeah, I would never notice the mild salsa. I use the hot stuff. Of course you don't notice hot. it because it's what I use. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> mild salsa. A.K.A. Weak Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am Weak Sauce. You're right. I can't do the hot, and I'm okay with that. I can have hot crawfish all day long, but when it comes to stuff on tacos, I just don't like it. I just have to mess with you. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Back to the advert.
I have to change the volume on that thing because it was really loud when we were listening to it on the TV. Oh, yeah, I did notice that when I listened to it the other day. Yeah, it just doesn't match the volume of our voices. So. It's like all up in your face. All up in your ears. But your ears are like right off to the side of your face. And it was so loud that it actually spilled over into my face. Kind of it, like my earballs. It could have put my eye out. <laughs> okay. Sure it could. Sure it could. The SPL's going through my ear holes. <laughs> <laughs> putting pressure inside my head. Blowing my eyes out of my... my <laughs> Head. I don't even know what you're talking about anymore. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Pause. You may walk out. You don't have to run. <laughs> you, didn't, you, you didn't have to, like, sneak either. <laughs> Good night, Colin. <laughs> The downfall of having one bathroom functioning with a shower in your room is that everybody now has to use it. This was my greatest fear when it came to having to redo that hall bathroom. But it's really not that bad. Everybody coming through here. All up in our bathroom. Through our room. Yeah, you have to be okay with evasion of privacy and people coming in and out of your room at all times of the day and night. Otherwise, you know, it's like, okay, shower is closed at, you know, 11 o'clock and um, nobody gets in after that. So we talked about calendars. We talked about um, splitting responsibilities and the other person helping the other person that needs to do things because the other person is not physically able to do the things that are physical. I mean, like, barely able to do anything. It's ridiculous. And adjusting things for the person who needs to do the things so that they're able to do it. I was going to cook, but you didn't let me. Um, I was already cooking, so I might as well have cooked the other thing. I know. But I was going to help, and then I forgot I was supposed to go have coffee with one of my cow friends. Boo. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And then I forgot that Samuel had work, and I was going to try and be home to be able to bring him to work, and then I wasn't. And I was like, oh, no, I forgot to go home. I hate ADHD sometimes. Like, if I'm not, if it's not, if I don't have reminders, like, reminding me what I'm supposed to be doing, I'll get distracted on one thing and forget what's next. So, if I would have put that on the calendar and, like, reminded myself, like, 15 minutes or 30 minutes before I needed to be home, I could have been like, oh, I gotta wrap this up, I gotta go home, bring my son to work. But I didn't. I probably need to put his schedule in my calendar. More things on my calendar. What? Nothing? He's looking at me like he's confused. What's this calendar thing you speak of? (laughs) You check it every day. Do I? Don't you? Not every day. Okay. Because usually I'm like, hey, I've got this going on. He's like, yeah, I saw it on the calendar. Okay. It's because I remember I saw it on the calendar. At some point in time. But that doesn't do necessarily that? mean I checked it that day. How do you do that? I can't even remember what I'm supposed to do next, much less a, a week from now. Well, if it, if it makes you feel any better, I forgot what days my kids were born on, except for Evan. That doesn't make me feel better, because I can't I think Samuel was on a Friday. <laughs> and then <laughs> Jonathan... Saturday? I don't know. Anyway, that doesn't matter on this podcast. But he's a numbers person. He will remember numbers and dates 
and I am terrible at dates and I always have been terrible at dates and if you ask me about what year something happened in history I'll be like I don't know because I'm not good at dates what year were you born 1953 no I'm just kidding oh my god she is bad <laughs> <laughs> That's the one date I can remember. <laughs> if I use the date multiple times over and over and over again, I will eventually remember it. But if I don't use it, I lose it. There's more things that have to go in the brain and my brain never stops. And so, which is another podcast that I wanted to do and I need to collect all the information that I was going to share on the podcast was living with ADHD or parenting ADHD with ADHD because two of my kids have ADHD and I have ADHD and it's just like this muddled, fuddled, puddled mess of brains trying to get through the day. I just had a mild panic there thinking that you were going to muddle, fuddle something. <laughs> my brain is muddle, fuddled. I've now just figured out a substitute <laughs> Swear words. <laughs> muddle fuddle. <laughs> muddle fuddle. No mother truckers anymore? No. I never did that one. I, I I don't know why I did started it lately, but I did. So we we have chaos all the time. How do we how do we usually manage it? Other than calendars and we talk talking, I mean like we usually pretty much like touch base on Sunday which is his one of like every other Sunday is he only has one day off and so it's like our only day to really like plan ahead and so we'll talk about what we have to do and then he usually remembers things I'm supposed to do that I forgot about <laughs> <laughs> and he reminds me I'm supposed to do things that I forgot about and then <laughs> Those are the times when you need to check your calendar. I really need to get in a better <laughs> habit of looking at it daily. And then it does help me when I transfer my calendar from my personal calendar to my work calendar because it will it'll notify me on both things because if for some reason I put my phone in a different room and I forgot to bring it in the room with me and I don't know the notification went off, my work calendar will remind me. I should have put my PTO on my calendar. I didn't. <laughs> That's why I forgot it wasn't on the calendar. <laughs> ah, so. Yeah, there's nothing on the calendar for tomorrow. Tomorrow is when, yes, because I don't put anything on month end ever. I'm usually like, nope, can't do it that day. So, and then Thursday's busy. And we got another update on Super Secret and... It's more non-information. <laughs> more. Hurry up and wait. Yep. More. We have some more information, but the more information is you're going to have to wait for more information. Okay. Sure. So we are waiting again. Um, and so we have possibly another week to two before we will find out even more information. Because apparently the thing that we're waiting on is a very muddled, fuddled mess. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> That's it. That's the name of this episode. Muddled, fuddled mess. <laughs> Balancing life with muddled, fuddled mess. <laughs> Fuddle muddled mess. <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to change this this family programming <laughs> scheme here. Uh. I mean it's you know, at least PG no, PG thirteen, T V fourteen, I don't know, podcast have ratings. It's it's I don't think it's an eighteen plus. But I think I think we still, you know, catered to teenagers. I mean, some of the stuff that they listen to and, and watch are terrible, so I think we're still below that threshold. Just don't bring up widgets. Oh my gosh, you and the widgets. You have to mention it almost every episode. No, not every. Not even almost every. 
Oh, this is like the third one you've mentioned it in since the first mention of it. So every other. <laughs> I don't even remember which episode that was. <laughs> it was early on. You'll have to go listen to all of them and tell us. <laughs> uh, Spe- again. <laughs> speaking of how you tell us things, you will find us on Instagram, Mom of Boys Nola, Facebook, Mom of Boys Nola, Twitter, if I ever wind up there because it's rare and I avoid it, Mom of Boys Nola, and is there anything else? Oh, yeah, we have a Patreon now. Um, if you would like to support our channel, um, it is, we have a few tiers, so I think for a little as $5 a month, you can support our channel. Uh, we really appreciate it, and you can also do a custom donation, and on the link for the show, there should be a button to press support, which you can do a donation of any size if you would like to support us, and we appreciate all our listeners, and you just listening, and subscribing or following or whatever your app says to do to be able to get notifications that we have a new podcast that is a great way to support us also so we appreciate any support liking sharing if you have people that you know that might enjoy this podcast share it with them uh it will help us in our algorithms the more you share the more people will hear us and the more chaos you can hear about us trying to figure out. <sighs> and if you really want to see some chaos, you have to go over to the YouTube channel, Mom of Boys Nola. <laughs> That's where all the the chaos is visually available. Which, well, not all of it. Oh, obviously not. I mean, <laughs> there's not enough days in the week to film and edit the chaos that happens around here. So, no, not all of it. Just, you know, select pieces that we like to share. <laughs> I was going to say something else. I forgot. See, I can't even think about what I was going to think about. What I was going to talk about. I forget. Distraction. Squirrel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's that ADD. <laughs> I can hear you crunching your ice. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Other ways that we manage chaos. Or we can talk about finding the balance. Which we kind of talked about that with, you know, you needing help with dinners. So we mm-hmm. kind of shifted the responsibility a little bit, but also shifted how we did it so I could manage it. When both people have been single parents for many years before they were together, you get kind of stuck in what works for you. And then it's kind of taken me a while to adjust to figuring out how to manage it, manage things best together. (laughs) You know, because we both have our ways of doing things and his way does not work for me. And my way doesn't work for him. It's kind of like, okay, well, I can do this, but I can only do it this way if you'll, you know, help me do that. And if there's things that, you know, we can't adjust, then we don't do it. Yeah. (laughs) We're just like, nope, that's not going to (laughs) work. Nope. All yours. Yep. (laughs) I can't make my brain work that way. You can do it. (laughs) You can do it your way all by yourself. (laughs) Sometimes you just have to do it that way because trying to reprogram yourself after 40 some odd years can be hard. But it is doable. We've done we've done a really good job of adjusting where adjusting needs to be. I don't know. I know you have. Have I? Have I adjusted for you? He's rolling his eyes. I just looked over there and he's rolling his eyes. They can't hear that. But I'm letting them know. Here, hold on. Uh can you hear Stop that? it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Interruption two. Yes. Oh, the green tea. No, it's the um, the half and half. 
Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't know. Didn't know I had that. All yep, right. We do. Okay, so the answer is yeah. Okay. I do. I do make adjustments for you. Yep. Your AD is not that bad. You remember the question. <laughs> it took me a second. <laughs> Every time we, we get interrupted, I completely forget what we're talking about. <sighs> so, yeah. If you remember, then I can remember. Yes, adjusting for each other and for helping each other with their strengths and weaknesses is, is very important. I, I do appreciate that about you is you help me remember things. It's very nice. And you don't give me a hard time usually for forgetting. I only give you a hard time during podcasts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> If you believe that, <laughs> he's a good liar. <laughs> that was funny. I needed that laugh. <laughs> That's okay. I give you a hard time back, so <laughs> it all works out. <laughs> oh, man. Finding the humor in the situations is another way that we cope. And throwing out random lyrics. <laughs> you can diffuse a situation really, really quickly if you just start saying or singing random lyrics. Um, are you expecting me to do that on the whim right now? I mean, I know you could, but <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> we actually haven't said any lyrics on this podcast yet, I don't think. You don't think. Maybe you should listen harder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't I, think. If I if I did, I just slipped and I didn't even think about it when I did it. But it may or may not have happened on this podcast. <clears throat> we'll have to we'll have to play it back and and see. I don't think we did. I don't think so either. I really don't think. It's a little I, too I, ironic. I, I almost... Oh, there you go. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I really do think. <laughs> and now I'm singing in my head. Alanis Morissette, thank you. You started it. <laughs> Don't thank me. I you thought you were yourself. going there. I thought no. you were going there when you said... <laughs> you really don't think? <laughs> You started it. I did. All I did was just roll with that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Commercials now. Yeah, that happens too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Either that or movie quotes. We do those too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I guess really, you know, making time for the kids when we can um it's it's not typical for us to have like a nightly thing like i guess with noah a lot of times he'll come watch tv with us in in the evening before he goes to bed when he runs out of screen time mm -hmm. and then sometimes the boys will want to watch a movie or something we'll do family movie night but every night jeremy and i will come to bed at a really way too late hour <laughs> and we'll watch tv sometimes we'll talk a little bit and then take our showers go to bed so every i mean it's every night we spend time together which i think really is important for us it helps us manage chaos and find sanity and you know another way that I I do that is I have the cows on discord Moo. I did it that time <laughs> and uh, they are a special group of people for sure especially one she's our little special cow you know who you are 
and um <laughs> And Jeremy just looks at me like, okay, whatever. But he got to meet all the cows. Well, not all the cows, but a lot of the cows. I am so out of the loop on this. <laughs> I mean, you got into the loop a little bit, at least. When we went to the to the bash. Well, I hung, I hung out with the cow adjacents. Yeah, but you you were aware of the cows. The cow adjacents would be their spouses and partners <laughs> <laughs> and guests that came with them <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh brandy you're gonna have to tell brad he's a cow adjacent <laughs> but they um i don't know i guess a lot of times i found community online i used to have a group of friends that all had like Etsy shops and we would support each other and we everybody kind of went their own little way and started doing other things so we don't talk as much but that is one of the ways I stay sane is because I don't have time to go out with friends a whole lot is getting together with friends online and meeting up with new people that way Jeremy's just a loner homebody so i'm a loner d a rebel (laughs) okay yeah that's right that was a quote from where peewee's big adventure really yes oh my gosh it's been so many years since i watched that (laughs) i would have not even guessed (laughs) wow why is that in your head you said that I was a loner, and that's the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pee Wee Herman. I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't, yeah, I can't even go down that road. <laughs> Neither could he because his bike got stolen. <laughs> and it was hidden in the basement of the Alamo. I remember the bike being stolen, but I don't remember the Alamo. I'm so sorry. Spoiler alerts. (laughs) I mean. I mean, if you haven't seen the movie. (laughs) Yeah, you don't. I don't know if I should even recommend that you do. (laughs) All right. So what are some ways that y'all manage your chaos? We would love to hear some ideas and some things that y'all do that help you cope. Jeremy plays guitar sometimes when his fingers allow it because he has arthritis. And we use the term playing guitar loosely. You play well enough for me to 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 understand that you're playing a song and sometimes recognize it. <laughs> Not that he doesn't play the songs well. It's just... It's songs that she might not know. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Most times I don't play other people's songs. Every every so often I will try to play, you know, other people's music. But I usually just kind of do my own feel thing and play. Meadly, meadly, me's? No, I gave Colin the meadly, me guitar. <laughs> <laughs> do you play arpeggios? <laughs> I know all about the virtuosos, <laughs> the arpeggios. <laughs> Play on the little strings on the appear all the meadly, 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 me, 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 me. Yeah. Uh, a little strong bad references there, eh? <laughs> yep, yep. And I finally watched that. I never even knew that existed <laughs> until like two years ago, a year or two ago. Yeah. Of all things at Bible study. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good time. Uh, yeah, so come visit, visit us on our social media accounts on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter if I actually remember to post there um, and you know every time I release a podcast I put a post up and you can find it and you can comment on the picture that goes along with it and let us know some of the ways that you cope with ca- chaos 
how you manage your chaos, how you find balance amongst the chaos. Really, I think the way we balance it best is trying to figure out which chaotic thing needs to be done first. And we kind of just fit in what we can from there. And kind of doing a triage on what's going on. And whatever's the priority, we get that done. And then if we have time for other stuff, then we get that done. And if we don't, we don't. And we don't really, like, stress about the things that don't get done. Nope. That's wrong. Oh, we stress. We stress a lot about the things that can't get done. <laughs> at least I do. I, I think I have a better, like ability to let go of the things that can't be done because it's probably been my whole entire life where I always think I can accomplish more than I do and I never can and so I'm just like forget it whatever I'm done I've tried my best and I'm not gonna let that stuff bother me and I wake up the next day and try to get more done and whatever I get done that day I'm I'm happy with especially when I'm in a situation where I have to pace myself so I don't hurt myself. You know, that's that's where well, that's where I struggle the most is not doing too much and feeling like I'm not doing enough because I can't. And battling the thoughts of I'm just being lazy. But like I did laundry and I like just crashed that evening. I was so tired after doing that. But I went bowling and was tired and I did hit a wall at the end of the day. So pretty much if I do any activity, I hit a wall at the end of the day and I can't do any more. And when I'm healthy, that's not the way it works. When I'm healthy and I have energy, I keep going until I can't go anymore because it's like midnight and I'm falling asleep. But, you know, when I'm struggling with pain and energies being zapped because of other things going on it's you know a struggle to get anything done I'm really surprised that my neck was hurting today but not bad I mean like I probably should have iced it I probably should ice it before I go to bed but I was like really worried that after going bowling my neck was going to hurt a lot so it means I'm getting better yay <laughs> <laughs> You have to forgive me because I'm like... He's so tired. He didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. I'm I, I'm like halfway delirious. Only halfway? Yes. Because if I was completely delirious, I would be so hilarious to the entire podcast. <laughs> but I can only muster so much tonight. <laughs> you mustered a lot in that last like five to ten minutes. You you got in all the quotes and all the lyrics. <laughs> But I think we're gonna have to wrap this up because uh, it's getting to be a little bit of a long of a pot, a little bit of a long of a. I'm not the only tired one. You think? <laughs> well, you're getting tongue tied and twisted. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. What? Tongue tied and twisted. Just an earthbound misfit. I. Mm-hmm. Yep. Another lyric quote. Yep. So, with that being said, we want to thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you listening to us. We appreciate those that have subscribed to our podcast, and we hope that those of you listening will subscribe. And if you would like to join the Patreon, which there are benefits to the Patreon, you get early release, commercial-free episodes, you also can, depending on your level, join our Discord group. And when I get my logo done, I will be working on stickers. And if you stick around for a couple of months, there will be stickers and t-shirts and other stuff to give away. Merch, yo. Merch. That's what it is. That's the word I was looking for. Merch. Merchandising. <laughs> And that's the number one movie quote that we always quote, especially <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, Spaceballs, the flamethrower. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll have my logo on everything, just like yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh my god you're gonna get yogurt all over everything <laughs> <laughs> i'm done good job you got that in before i closed out <laughs> we want to thank you for joining us on this episode and we hope that you will join us on our next episode when We'll figure figure it out. out. Or we won't. But we might. So you'll have to come back and find out. Y'all have a great day.